For stage three, we actually have uh, a pretty cool topic, on my opinion. Um, for those who've seen the show um, back then, uh, it's called Young Justice. Um, it was originally launched uh, in Cartoon Network. Yes, yes. Every Friday nights, I think at seven or eight o'clock, you can catch it every week. Um, and that 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 story pretty much was. Um, it's all about like the sidekicks. You know, you got um, Green Arrow sidekick, Robin, Aqu Aqualad. Like it's pretty much their 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 time to shine at that point. Um, this is an old quick, series too, right? Yeah, this is oof. I think they, it came out like what, uh, 2009, 10, something like that. 2010, man. Yeah, it's a pretty old show and a, and a pretty successful one at that matter, mm -hmm. uh, especially for Cartoon Network. It was something pretty cool. But yeah, it's just like basically the sidekicks um, trying to make it to the big times, but then, you know, they kind of end up making their own group and just making up a statement. And yeah, man, it, with this series, yeah, they're no, they're, they're sidekicks no more, man. They, they do, they hold up their own. They, they go on these crazy missions and, and they can keep up with the big boys, man. And there's even times where even the, the justice league themselves were like, wow, th these guys aren't no joke. So, you know, we should just work with these guys together at that point. Like they did a merger, but um, yeah, they, they were on hiatus after the first two seasons. They just stopped. Why, why did they cancel that show? I mean, that show was so great. I, I never got why. Dude, I think it was just because they were just trying to they were just trying to make time for like new shows and and oh, one they of those shows time slot that they think is going to be more successful. Yeah, which was Teen Titans Go, and that was a very big error because I feel like that show was so horrible to begin with. So yeah. the fact that they switched that show for that, like, come on. But they were saying it was a lot maybe like to do with, um, I guess they weren't generating enough volume and sales, like in terms of like other aspects for that. So like maybe like merch or like toys or it whatever. wasn't kitty kitty enough. Like, yeah. I mean, man, that, that, that show was super mature and, and it was just so ahead of its time. It reminds me a lot uh, of 80s cartoon, like when you're watching like He-Man or, or Thundercats, it was just like like a big boy's like big big boys cartoon yeah and, and and you get that feeling and the storytelling was great and uh and uh, and it was dark and it was complex uh so it makes you think like you follow this this storyline and it was like a whole storyline with with character development with 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 background stories it was it was great it was really developed and i just cannot believe they canceled it. i believe the backlash was intense i was one of those guys that was like i could not believe you canceled it this show Same. was amazing same and then yes like i think after after those two seasons i want to say like another three to four years later they finally decided to or not finally decided they finally ended up doing season three to continuation yeah. of season two and i was like do it like even better and then that season was even was even more intense than, than the last two seasons and i'm like my goodness dog and then <laughs> we haven't heard anything since then and then which brings me to my point now what we're talking about it they're actually making a season four and i'm like you know what it's about dang time dude so Man, I'm happy for I'm happy for this one. I, it's gonna be called Young Justice uh, Phantom. Season Phantom. three was Young Young Justice Outsiders. That was the the third season's title, and okay. then the fourth the fourth title is gonna be Phantoms. Which I'm telling you, man, I have to do a recap because I I, I it's been a long time. I I don't even remember what what, what the storyline was, but I, I'm gladly watched all of that again. It was dude, it was that great. And if you start with wife, a, a pretty cool recap too, you should do. Even my wife liked it. I introduced her to that show, and she got hooked like two yeah, episodes yeah. in, bro. And yeah, the, the writing the writing is really good. It's really yeah. good. Uh, so I'm hoping I'm hoping them success, man. I I, I believe that they, they, this is like a like a trending, right? They did the same thing with Clone Wars. They brought it they brought it back. Yep. A show that never should have been canceled for some reason. This they took over, cancel it, and now Young Justice. I just hope that they keep doing this. You hear me from guys from Thundercats, the the, the <laughs> reboot. Do that. Cancel this Thundercat roar. BS <laughs> and, and bring back Thundercats the remake, man. That that series was amazing. Just one season, man. One season. And bring was... back Secret Squirrel. We want it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of shows, man. Why do they do this? It's crazy. Like they have the the, the following, the fandom. It's there. People are back in the show. I don't know if it's that they're not selling that many toys. I mean, which is a possibility. This this shows. We everybody knows that these shows are a business. Yeah. But come on, man. If the writing is good, if you're doing a great job, and the fandom is there, like like like, look for ways. I believe that there might be. A lot of ways that we can contribute for these shows, these shows to keep going. I, I don't understand it. Yeah. It really feels like DC's been under different creative control the past few years. Um, I don't know who's I don't know who's at the top at DC pulling strings, but um, or I mean, you know, who all is at the top? But 
those boardroom meetings are, are going better and better. Somebody, I mean, yeah. somebody got spanked, man. Somebody's there like, <laughs> I say, hey, guys, what's going on? We got all these great characters. Like, why are people like just basically just throwing money at us? Yeah. And I believe every great company that is losing money with these amazing characters, they should ask themselves that. Why aren't people throwing money at us? Because for the, for the for, for most part, it's usually, the problem is you guys. I don't, it's not the fans. Fans are willing to invest. It's, it's, it's you. Something is going on with you. Fix, yep. fix your shit. Fix it. They're all, all they care about is the dollar sign, man. As long as it equals a, a higher number, that's all they care about. Man, but... if, you, if you deliver good quality products, we, we're gonna be there. We're gonna sponsor. Yeah. This. Like, look, look at Chris. Chris, did you get your your Mario 3D uh, all search today? I don't know. I woke up early to get it. <laughs> I don't wake up early for anything. Because Nintendo has never messed up Mario. That's why Chris got early this morning. <laughs> and then I ate my Mario cereal, and then I used my Mario. <laughs> <laughs> and before work, I played with my toys for a little bit. <laughs> I mean, like, dude, I mean, that, that's how we are. Like, we like our toys. Look at my toys. Like, we got toys. I will buy toys. When I'm like, I'm, I'm like almost 40. And, and believe me, I'll, I'll get my toys when when they're worth it. Yeah. Um, if you treat us right, we're going to buy your shit. Like, I mean, <laughs> I, th I think that is a part of the, the trend of, of cult followings coming back, man. I mean, I think whether it's it's Star Wars or, or DC, DC, Marvel, yeah. or just any, you know, smaller franchise um, at all that has a cult following. Mm -hmm. I think there's a huge appeal, especially with the even further age of Internet right now where, hey, those those if you if you bring it back and people love it, we'll buy the fucking cereal if you yeah. want us to like just bring it back. Let us be happy. Yeah, for sure. They were vague on what they were gonna sh like, what they were talking about, anyways. But just yeah. the fact that it's gonna be on, just, just the fact that there's a season four, I'm happy. And in the fact that it's gonna be on HBO Max is even better. So, so now that we have that platform, like, dude, it's 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 freaking dope. It's like, all HBO Max. I yeah, bet dude. you this is HBO Max because HBO Max is bringing back the Zack Snyder cut. They're bringing back John Justice. They're just looking for content, man. Yeah. And that's what's so good about competition. Like, so beware, Netflix. Beware. Like, HBO Max is trying. It's trying to get up there with you. And, and they have they have the exclusives. They have Warner Brothers, man. Yep. So, I, I, dude, that's I'm so stuff. glad that HBO is doing the right thing with this. Even Titans. I don't know if you guys seen that show, Titans. Um, it was originally exclusive to, like, the DC streaming platform. But now they moved that over to H. They're going to move that over to HBO Max, too. So if you guys haven't seen that show, you guys should you guys should I, watch yeah. it. It's yeah. pretty dope. I'm excited because the the trailer was really cool when I saw it. I'm eager for that one. Yeah, it's dope. I, yeah, I don't want to spoil anything because like not a lot of people <laughs> were able to see that, especially on the on the platform. Unless you you do the you do it like I do, but I ain't gonna say how. <laughs> Jack Sparrow, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want no more student cuts videos. <laughs> no, but I'm excited, dude. Like, yeah, they were they were super vague, but. Um, yeah, we just have to wait for more information. Like, sadly, I, yeah. I, I don't think there's, there's not even a trailer, right? No, dude, nothing. So, they just uh, showed, the, they just showed the title and that's it. Yeah, but, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that they did and they're doing this and, and they're finally bringing this back. People are hype, uh, and it's, it's gonna come soon. Like, I, it's, it's all about being patient. But I, I'm just, yeah. I'm just glad that they're doing the right thing. But yeah, sadly, there's, there's, there's pretty much not that much to shoe on. Yeah. At this moment. I mean, I'm I'm gonna probably close it out a little bit, but like in terms of what my prediction would be, um, in terms of the title, I think it's just gonna reflect something on the past. Cause I know Outsiders, like Young Justice season one and two, that was that was just it, Young Justice, and then Young Justice Outsiders, the Outsiders were pretty much like the newer characters who had more a uh, development. So you get like I, I don't know, like if you guys seen the two the two seasons before, like Static Shock. Like yeah. um, Tomahawk, that? yeah, like wow. in, his, in his in his like early stages, like he, and he's starting to get developed a lot more, especially in season three. Like he's in it a lot more, and I feel like phantoms, like I think it's just like ghosts. Like they might run into some like or reflect a lot in terms of like what happened back then, like with their past demons and all that crap. But I mean, who knows? It, that, that's just me. It could be it could be anything, but I just feel like it's gonna be. Yeah, we just have to wait and like see. With just one word, it's gonna be hard to theor theorize. Yeah. Whatever Speed that the means. Fence. Give us what we want. <laughs> Make and it HBO good. HBO Max. Please. HBO Max. So for those who don't have HBO Max, subscribe to that sucker, man. There's actually some pretty cool stuff on there too. I've been actually some watching some other stuff there recently, and it's actually worth it.